I don't even think I've done an intro for this video. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Splendid Knitting, where today I just went to the thrift store. Let's start off. I got a little um, clay vase, and I got this because it kind of matches one I already have. And I'm moving out, and I want lots of cute little clay things. Oh. Okay, and then next, I'm gonna show you some weird ones, the weirdest thing, or at least most outrageous. I got some platform sandals. They are four and a half inch heels. So wearing these, I'm almost 5'11", if I can do math, which, I might be able to. I, <laughs> yes, I'm almost 5'11 wearing these. So I'm kind of a force to be reckoned with. We'll just get the shoes out of the way. Um, I also got these cute little buckled shoes. They're more of like a dark brown. They look kind of black on camera, but they're a dark brown. They're very comfortable. They feel like they're probably fancy, but they were only $5. SAS, S-A-S is the brand. I'll search it up because I don't know if that's fancy or not, but I just thought they're really cute and they fit well and it's like, I'm here for a cute little buckled shoe. I found this, um, this sweater top thing, which is cute and comfortable. Uh, the brand is Active USA, which I've never heard of before, but, um, it fit nicely. And I did, in fact, get a new purse. Here she is. Like, who am I? My mother? Like, what's going on? All right, it has a little slot for my lactates. But suddenly I'm like, no, I'm getting, I'm getting a nice brown purse that I can use for the next 20 years. Today I finished something. It's actually using the same base yarn as this, just without the mohair. It was the summer top. Um, it's already been blocked and everything, but this was just like a scrap yarn. Just wanted to use up some yarn, make something cute. Summer is coming. Um, that's what it looks like. I'll put a picture here because I don't want to put it on because it's kind of see-through. I didn't think about that when I used like kind of a thin yarn with five millimeters because it's like you can see, you can see through that. And it's a halter, so I don't want to wear a bra, like, I don't know. I'm gonna go to Montreal next week, or actually this week on Friday. Very soon, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna go stay with a friend there, but I'm gonna stop talking now. And hopefully the next time you hear from me, I have a big old bag of new yarn. The yarn is here, everybody. And there's our yarn. This is all dropped saffron because I wanted lots of cotton to make tops with and this seemed like a good choice. This is color 21. I wish it said like the name of the color because I don't remember anymore. Um, but it's just a beige. It feels pretty nice. Lots of the cottons at like Michael's and all those places just feel like, like wire and this feels kind of soft while still clearly being a cotton. I got one of these. I think this is for the stripes of the Sailor Swift top. And then this pistachio, I think this was pistachio. This is for the base. And I have four of these. So I have one, this is off-white. The beige one is called Camel. And this one is pistachio ice cream. This is gonna be the Sailor Swift tee top. What is it called? I don't remember. And then this one I just got so I can make a different summer top. I don't know which one it's gonna be yet. So I'm gonna actually go buy that pattern and get started because I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to the airport today to fly to Montreal. <clears throat> Some bad news, I couldn't fit my knitting in my bag um, because it's just too small. And maybe I should have picked a bigger like carry-on but I also want to travel light um, 
So the yarn is not coming. I am bringing some books. Um, I br I'm bringing the one of the Bridgerton books and I'm bringing the Hunger Games book. The, the President Snow one. What's up, guys? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm back from Montreal. Unfortunately, I might be getting sick again. <laughs> Two in a row. Um, or at least I've lost my voice. I don't feel sick any other way, but like, Maybe it's because I don't drink water. So the trip was really fun. I didn't record a lot because I was like staying with people and I didn't want to record everybody because that's kind of awkward and that's not like, I'm not a vlogger. And we're gonna finish knitting this Sailor Swift top because it's looking so beautiful. And I love the colors I picked out. It's just gonna be perfect. But really going to Montreal and just like Hanging out with my friends and exploring just felt like it, it was just such a nice escape from life. I guess that, no, well, I don't know. From like obligation. It was just like me in the world. And that was really refreshing. Okay. I see. I'm going to learn how to crochet soon, you guys. Mark my words, it's going to happen. It'll give my wrists like something else to do, which I always like feels good. But honestly, I feel like I'm always going to be a knitting girly. Like this is always going to be my main thing. I also bought Circe because Leve's book club was reading it and now I have to read it because I missed it when they were doing it for her book club. Sorry, the lighting is like going crazy I think because of this. And I found there's a, oh my god, what is it called? Mini, mini so. There's a mini so in Montreal and I went to that place and I was in heaven, okay? I bought Oh, there's so much cute stuff there. Okay, look at that notebook. Isn't that adorable? Are you kidding? There's a croissant on it. I got a pair of slides. Is that not the cutest you've ever seen? Some bowls, because I'm moving out soon and I was like, I'm gonna have a house full of adorable bowls. Today I spent all day applying to jobs. I applied to some in Edmonton in case I want to go over there early and work, but I've also mostly been applying here at home, so yeah, lots going on. I really don't know why I've had such bad luck like getting sick this year, but when I think about it, I do get sick like more than anyone I know every year, so this might just be my entire life. Okay, so we made lots of progress on the Sailor Swift top, but before that, I wanted to point out that I got this new cleanser and it's been working really well, which is really weird because cleansers have never worked well for me. It's ended up being just me using like a simple soap, just like hand soap, body soap. I use like this Dove just like bare basic soap usually but I've started using this like micellar it's charcoal jelly I'll put a picture of it um because it's been working really well for me and it feels super lightweight um but yeah usually when I try to switch up cleanser it's like break out immediately but this is like actually helping so I have my latte here um, because 
there have been some good things working this pattern and there have been some less good things. The worst thing that has happened while working this pattern has nothing to do with the pattern at all, but everything to do with my own stupidity, which is that I always leave my knitting on the floor and the floor is where I walk. Um, so the product of those two things is a broken needle. Yeah, so I stepped on this 3.75 millimeter needle and this little frail thing could not handle, surprisingly enough, my full body weight on it. So I guess we're saying goodbye to this needle. I don't know if I can like buy replacements for like an interchangeable needle from a set, but I'll try to look into that. Otherwise, I guess I just don't have 3.75 millimeters anymore. So since I don't have like any other needles of that size, I just replaced one of them with a 3.5. So it's like the gauge will be a tiny bit different, but hopefully with blocking it won't be noticeable because you can't see it here even. So I finished the back panel. Um, now what I have to do is just increases over here. So that's like gonna be right at the back. Um, now I'm gonna pick up for the front. The pattern has been really easy to follow. I love Kuta Vikia's patterns. Um, I kind of had to get used to her style of writing patterns because the first, <clears throat> the first one I made was the Salty Day Sweater. I have a couple of videos where I'm working on that one. Um, and I just totally like, just misunderstood a lot of the like wording. I just misread it. Um, cause I was used to petite knit and like, yeah, I just did it wrong. But this one, now that I'm used to it, has just been like super smooth sailing. And the colors I picked, I really love. Like I'm so excited to wear this. And I think I have fallen in love with cotton because of this project. This is Drop Saffron. It's so light. And as someone who has lots of like wrist problems because of knitting and I like can't go for too long, this has been really helpful because it's light yarn and light needles. So it's like, I'm not really doing anything. It's like, it's been working really well. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll check back in when I have an update. Love you guys. So I've been working more on the Sailor Swift um, top. So we're, we're making progress. I think it's gonna be done pretty quickly. The one thing is the I-cord edging that I haven't done too much of, but hopefully that doesn't like take too long at the end. All things considered, I've been doing so much better recently with like my mental health and just feeling pretty in control of things. My main thing is that I hate not knowing what's coming next or what I'm doing. That's always just been really frustrating for me and I'm sure that's true for a lot of people. So it's kind of like being hard not being able to find another job, um, which I signed up for. Obviously I knew that it wasn't guaranteed that I would just be able to find a job like that after leaving my last one. And I also still think it was the best decision for me just because I was so miserable at my last job. And on this gap year, I don't really have any other purpose or direction. So having a shitty job just, yeah, I was doing really bad. So I've had so much fun being able to work on Splendid Knitting because this is what motivates me and this is, it's just so much fun. <laughs> so all that to say, um, I haven't found another job yet. It's just a little stressful. And I realize my problems are very small compared to a lot of people. So I should be, 
I should be happy that I get to just sit at home and knit and wait for <laughs> job applications to respond. And I know that everything will work out. So <sighs> I'm just gonna <clears throat> turn my brain off a little bit. Impossible task. I have been reading Circe and oh, I just realized, I've been realizing how much of a sucker I am for like Greek mythology books. Because over the summer I read Lore, um, it's on the shelf way up high, but that was really good. And that one is just kind of like using the names of gods and creating a story with existing ones. This one is like a retelling of the myths about Circe, and it's so good. It's made me reflect a lot on like my humanness. Obviously, she's not human, but she is learning at this kind of slowed pace, spanning over like a millennia or more. <clears throat> and she's learning kind of the same lessons that I've been learning. Um, and it's been really interesting to see how like, when you think of these beings who have all the time in the world, all the time, like they have forever. Most of them are able not to learn things and not to grow themselves because they don't have to. So grappling with like mortality as we all have to do forces us to learn and grow in a way that maybe we wouldn't if we had forever. And so it's just a really good book and you should read it, guys. Circe by Madeline Miller. I haven't read The Song of Achilles, which is also by her, but that is on my list after this because it's so good. I'm going to keep working on the Sailor Swift top. I made a mistake, of course I did, when I was um, attaching the front here. I just twisted one of the sleeves. I've never done that before. I don't know what is going on, but I guess... No matter how many years I knit, I'm still capable of silly mistakes. So, also my skin has been doing so good after using that micellar like gel. I swear it's not sponsored. I don't get sponsors. But look at that. What's going on? I'm not complaining. Anyway, I've been talking forever. I'm still very sick. Um, but that means I've been working a lot on the Sailor Swift top. Um, something that I noticed while working on this. First of all, I think the fact that I used the bigger needles has made for a really big armhole, so I hope that it'll like shrink a little bit when I do the I-cord bind off. Um, it's not really a big deal if it kind of gapes a bit because I don't care. Um, but I noticed that my tension when I'm knitting back and forth is horrifying. Like, it's remarkably different. I don't know if you can see it here, but this is where I connected. Oh yeah, you can see it. This is about where I connected, um, to knit in the round. And after that, it looks really even, but you can see how dicey it is over here. Um... I think it is my purling that's really loose. I just hope it doesn't show too significantly in the spacing between the stripes. I think it kind of does. Hopefully when I block it, it'll be fine. But as much as I love this cotton yarn, it's really exposing me for my bad tension. And I don't really know how to fix it. Yeah. Okay, if anyone has any suggestions on how to, like, tighten up purling, let me know in the comments. Because this is actually embarrassing. <laughs> so, um, but at least we're making progress. Oop. I'm just going to do a few more stripes and then we'll be good. It also definitely is see-through, but that's fine. It's a problem for another day.
Um, I don't know how I feel about the lighting. It's very cool. Oh. Oh. I am done knitting the body here. This is what we got. Um, I only did four rows of twisted rib because the needles I'm using are maybe a full size bigger than they're supposed to be, so it like went faster. This is my thing. If I don't have the right needles for something, I will try to adjust to the needles I have. And I think with this one, maybe it didn't really work. Like it worked, but I think the armhole ended up too big, even though I went a size down from what I think I needed. But I think it'll look nice anyway. I'm just gonna keep going like this. Um, and I'm about to do an Italian bind off. So that always takes forever for me, especially. Wish me luck on that. It's been a while since I've done one because the last few patterns I've done have just been easy to do without that. Where did I put my scissors? I've actually only used like a third of the yarn that I that it said I would need, which is kind of weird to me. And I think it does go to show that my needles were too big or significantly bigger than they were supposed to be. This might be another fail. I don't know what it is about Kuto Bakitka's patterns, but I'm not going to go there now. I'm going to assume that everything is totally fine and we're going to finish this off. Okay, guys, we have a pre-blocked tank. I think it looks nice. Yeah, that's cute. I'm gonna block it and I think it'll stretch a bit. Um, but the sleeves turned out like a good um, length, I guess. I was scared they'd be too tight, but oh, it's snowing outside. Oh my God. Um, I got in the visa line and I don't like it. Not one bit, okay? But <sighs> it has to be done. Anyway, I'm gonna sew in the ends and then when I get home, I'm gonna block this. I'm in Canmore right now. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so the piece is finished. It looks really cute. Um, it only ended up using like a skein and a half of the green yarn and less than one of the cream colored yarn. Um, so I have a lot left and I'm like trying to think of ideas of what to do with them because now I can crochet so I could do something fun with that. Um, but yeah, it turned out really nicely. It's just like a cute kind of cropped summer tank top. There we go. And the armholes ended up being perfect, like, circumference. The neck hole is a bit, like, tight, but I think it'll stretch with time. Um, and overall, the pattern was really easy to follow and quick to follow. I think I started it on the 4th of April, and now it's the 29th. So, like, it did take me a while. But I went on trips and stuff in between, so. On my trip to Canmore, I did learn a bit more how to crochet and how to kind of read patterns like that. So I got this um, creative lazy hazy summer cotton um, by Rico Design. It's really pretty. I love the mix of different colors in it. And I already crocheted this kind of bralette thing with it, which turned out really well. The cups are like slightly different sizes. I don't know how I ended up doing that, but um, it fits really well. And it's just really pretty. I have all of this yarn left of drop saffron. I kind of would love to have a market bag like a crochet one with the brown because that would be adorable 
or like make granny squares using the three colors that I have here. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'm kind of thinking that using my scrap yarn is gonna be a lot easier. I could like make a blanket of granny squares out of my scrap yarn. So that's kind of an exciting new development. I have this whole new skill to explore. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me make this beautiful tank top, um, hit the subscribe button and hit the like, and you can come along with me next time I make something like this. I try to post as much as I can since I'm on a year off, so you'll be hearing from me soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.